Hi everyone, so today I'm going to take you through some ways in which you can animate typography within After Effects using the text transform properties. This is super simple and you can create some interesting animations with the text transform properties. So yeah, it's going to be exciting. I thought I'd start making some YouTube tutorials because the tutorials that I've made before have been short form and for TikTok and Instagram and people have been asking me to create some long form content so I was like okay yeah let's do that because it will make it a lot easier for you to learn. I know with short form content it's like one minute long and it's hard to process everything. This is why I'm creating this YouTube channel and yeah let's get into the video. First we're going to create a composition 1080 by 1080 for the case of this tutorial and we're just going to type some text which can be anything really hello and I'll put this in Helvetica you can put it in whatever you want it doesn't really matter and yeah just gonna change the tracking a little bit and then resize it and then use the the anchor point tool to put this in the center and then we center this so what we want to do now is go to our text layer basically we go to our text layer and then we go to animate and then for this animation we can use the scale for the transform properties so we click scale and when you're in this we just have the scale here and that will animate the text so with this constraint proportions we're going to take that off and we're going to put the, the height to zero this height to zero there and and then we're going to go to the range selector at the moment it animates with the offset like this which is quite cool and yeah it doesn't take long to, to kind of get an animation going we'll put it to um, minus 100 and then we will go further down the timeline and then we will put another keyframe and we're 100 so minus 100 to 100 yeah, we've got that animation going. Go to the advanced settings. We've got the range selector here. And then advanced settings. And then we have shape. So we have the shape. Shape is square at the moment. And with this, we can change it to smooth. And it would give a more smoother and less harsh animation less linear as well i mean with smooth it's a bit different you kind of have to put it to maybe like minus 34 so it starts there or minus 35 actually it starts there and you get You get the opacity, animate opacity. Wait, actually, we don't want it. We want a different animator. So click off this. Animate opacity, and then it will bring up another animator. 
and we can set this one to zero and now it's set to zero we can animate the offset go from offset here press u to just look at the keyframes basically so offset can be zero and then it will go to 100 and you just gotta time this right really because it is just a bit okay. yeah so about there now we want to work on another animation with transform properties and this includes tracking and we'll type in some text to be tracking okay so we have this and what we want to do is create multiple pieces of text so in that same text box we will duplicate underneath to create stacked text we'll probably make this smaller actually as well maybe like hundreds now we've got the text stacking like this we can go to animate and then we can go to tracking and here you can see the tracking so you can animate the tracking through the transform properties and kind of create a offset sequence with this so what we're going to do probably set it to 80 because it fits in the frame minus 100 and then we can put it to 100 this is the basics of it to add some scale to the animation you can just add the property and scale property and then it will be here take off the constraint proportions and then you can mess around the scale a bit it will add more width to it There's actually one other one that I want to share with you. We'll create a text box. We just click on the composition and then we click text animation, type text animation or whatever text you want. And then we will get a shape and the shape can be a circle. So we draw a mask on the text layer go to path options go to mask one see we have our text animation text and with this I'm going to duplicate a couple of times across the circle until it fits the whole circle that should be uh, 91 yeah 91 will be good enough okay let's center this circle as well Jeez. 
and we can use the scale. We can take off the constraint proportions and we can size the text up and then it stretches like this. If I want to animate this, I've got 589 height on the scale and we're going to animate this so we put minus 100 to 0 And this is just with the square shape. You could even do to 100 instead, so it loops. Kind of like a clock, which creates an interesting animation. You can change the width of the scale, maybe 70 because it's probably a lot nicer than or 50 yeah 50 is a lot better I feel and then yeah you've got this clock animation kind of style and if you want to add a bit more character to it then you can go to the advanced options and then add the smooth shape and then yeah kind of cool or if you don't want to use the offset because I mean you don't always need to use the offset so if you want to use just the standard scale you can do that as well take the offset to zero so you can animate it scale can be take the the shape to square 100 scale scale to 100 and just keep everything 100 to start with and then you can take this to 50 the height of the scale to 500 what we want to do for this animation, we want to add some easing to this. If you've just got standard animation and there's no kind of fluidity to it, it kind of looks a bit, it doesn't look as great. So you always want to add some easing to the animation that you're creating and the keyframes. So we can take these keyframes, select them, and then we can go to easy ease and when we've got it like that anchor points closer together which will create more of a steeper ramp but it's obviously going to look a lot nicer it'll be smooth and you could probably animate that back so yeah this is free animations you can create with typography with text transform properties in After Effects and hopefully this is useful to you and you can use in your projects and yeah it would be cool to see what you make with the transform properties if you tag me on Instagram at designbyjake underscore that's where you can find me and that's where you can message me as well if you have any kind of questions on animation you can always reach out to me on my instagram so yeah don't be afraid to do that as well yeah, this has been the first tutorial and i'll see you in the next one whenever that may be take care and see you later